Today is July the 27th. It's um, 11.30 a.m. I just wanted to come on here and speak probably for, um, I don't know, this may be my last video, but I just wanted to say that um, you could be you cannot be like a high profile person or celebrity or anybody for someone to hack into your life and into your um, phone all of your devices that you purchased take away um, your job basically your whole life um, and make it seem like uh, you you were the cause and um, it's, it's your fault but um, hopefully this video um, can reach um, those that are willing to listen to it and to hear and understand that things that happen in my life, um, you know, I, I know the internet is used for a lot of things. Um, I know a lot of people network with it and I know a lot of people use it um, for different reasons. Um, but to all the hackers that sit out there and sit behind computers and hack people's lives and take away their life and write hate comments and hack into people cash apps that's you know it's it's a cruel world out there um there's some very hateful people but you know um i live my life 47 i think you know this come to realize you know you it's a cycle you know a cycle of life and when people are involved and especially those like my mother-in-law who has a son who's already in the grave who would participate in things like this is unacceptable 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 for family and friends to be who they are and and you know and contribute and and be a part of the foolishness as well you know but when you when your life has you know really come to a, to realize it's, it's at the end you know and that you did what you could you know to survive even if it was living out of you know your, the car even if I survived um, I survived all the things they did to me, all the foreign objects that they placed inside of my body. I survived the false arrest, um, serving time in jail. I survived them taking my driver license. I survived a lot of things. And I just wanted to come on here and say that. Is that survival is real. I know you that you see the sweat on my face and, in, and around my neck, but I have survived until up until this point. So I wanted to say that even if I survived with no food, with no money, with no job, with nothing, but what I have here in the car with me, I just wanted to say that I survived.